Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tank Tops and Sweaters. Kelly and I are excited to have you today because we are going to be talking about holiday hustle and self-worth during this time, which is super important. Um, we are all caught up in this very busy atmosphere of having to get everything done and pack everything into your schedule as much as you can. But really taking that step back is super important, taking those moments for yourself, as we've said many times before, but especially I think during this time of year is very important. Absolutely. I think we get stuck in like that. I have to create the perfect holiday for my family and everybody's got to be happy. And then you're on all the time and you feel like there's no downtime. And you, this is where we kind of like stop taking care of ourselves as well because we're really trying to do for everybody else and make it perfect and magical. And um, I think we're all kind of stuck in that hustle and how do we take a step back, like Yvette said, and take care of ourselves too. Yeah, it's, um, I feel like this time of year, I look at the calendar and my anxiety just jumps from zero to 60 because I'm <laughs> thinking of all the things that I'm trying to pack into such a short amount of time. Cause let's like, be honest, there's only what, mm -hmm. three weekends in the month. And yeah. those weekends are trying to pack with family and friends and get togethers and parties and baking cookies and decorating and all of, you know, wrapping presents, all the things that come with it. Um, no matter what holiday you are celebrating at this time of year, that's what you're trying to pack in. And I feel like we're constantly thinking of everyone else, but really in those moments, are we creating for ourselves just tiny moments for us to take a breath, to recharge, to make sure that we're filling our own cup? And um, going back to our quote on our newsletter this month, it is, um, let me find that. <laughs> it's I'm December, we can't keep everything in our head. I know. Remember to love yourself just as much as you are loving on your family. Absolutely. And so I think some of those things that we can do for ourselves are simple. Like take five minutes to go sit outside with your tea or your coffee and breathe in the fresh air, kind of do some grounding in the grass or the feel the earth beneath your feet. Grounding is a fantastic way of like calming yourself down and taking care of yourself. Um, getting in your workouts, not letting those slide. I think that's a huge thing I tell my clients is like, yes, you have to make time for them in December because they're, that's the hardest month to hold yourself accountable, but that's the best way to deal with your holiday stress. And I it's, think the most important month to be packing those in and, and making sure that you're taking those moments for yourself. Absolutely. And even just, I think honestly, giving yourself permission to say no to some things. Yes. That has been a big thing for me is being yes. able to say, you know what? Thank you so much, but that really doesn't fit in with my schedule. I already have too much, you know, going on. I feel like we always are under the impression that we have to say yes. And we have to create, go to every party and every cookie exchange and every concert. Yes. Really like prioritizing what is good for your family and what makes you and your family feel the joy and the magic of the season. And if it doesn't, then say no. I'm all for giving yourself permission to say no this season. <laughs> yes, setting boundaries. Yes, <laughs> for absolutely. Sure. For sure. Because let's be honest, how many of those memories and moments that you're making with your family if you are packing so much in with parties and um, all the games and all the everything, is your family going to sit back a year from now and go, oh my gosh, I remember every single thing. Right. I bet you they're not going to remember every tiny little detail that you put so much into. Right. <laughs> so maybe take a step back and edit those plans, set some boundaries, and really just take in those moments that you can actually enjoy with your family, with your friends, and not try and pack it into every minute of your day. 
Right. Because everybody's like, exhausted and grumpy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Well, and I think it's like different with different ages and stages. Like mm-hmm. when my kids were little, it was, um, you know, there was different things and fun things. And then being able to still rest and get sleep and take care of ourselves. And then as they get older, I have gotten in the habit of texting them and saying, what are the Christmas traditions you can't live without this year? What yes. are the things that mean the most to you? Because then it kind of gives me of like, okay, nobody really cared about that one thing. We don't have to stress ourselves out to do it, but everybody loves piling in the car in their Christmas PJs with hot chocolate and going to look at Christmas lights. So that's like yes. a must do, you know? Like that is our that, must do. <laughs> that's, our, that's one of our must do's. And so the things that bring us joy, let's prioritize those. And the things that are really stressful for everybody, it's okay to say no, I think. Exactly. Like, you know, the outside parties or company parties or things like that. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe company parties you might have to go to if it's right <laughs> boss, but, but, you know, maybe balance that by doing something with your family, you know, the mm-hmm. next night or the next day and make it, you know, very casual and fun. I mean, sitting around at home playing games, decorating cookies, building gingerbread houses or whatever, I mean, makes more memories for yourself right. together where you can actually sit back at an, in a moment and enjoy it as well. Instead yeah. of you having to, you know, constantly think of the next thing or constantly plan what's coming up next, just take those moments and insert yourself into them and make sure that you're enjoying it just as much as everybody else, because it's so important to have time to you. You should be enjoying it just as much as everybody else. It's not just mom's creating the magic for everybody else. (laughs) Right. Right. Exactly. I think that's what we're wholly saying right here. Mm -hmm. It's not just about us, moms, women, you know, wives, sisters, whatever, whatever, whatever role you're is, it's not about just you creating the magic for everybody else. It's right. It's about you enjoying the magic with everybody. I feel like we need to change that instead of like creating it, let's enjoy it together. Let's find a way to um, take some of the pressure off of each other and some of the expectations. I think that's a lot of it. Like a couple of years ago, I stopped doing Christmas cards. It was the most stressful thing for me. And I thought, why am I doing this? Like this is (laughs) Everybody's right. got to have clo- the right clothes. Everybody's got to smile. This person's not happy. This person's yes. tired. Yes. Why are we doing this? Like, I'll I take think- a Christmas Eve photo, post it on Instagram, and Facebook. We're good to go. Sorry. <laughs> Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Love you all. Bye. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think when the kids are little, like, right, mm-hmm. you really want to do that because you want to share right. how sweet those moments are with them. But as they get older, it's sort of like, why are we torturing ourselves to make sure everybody is in that specific spot at that specific time? So I yeah. absolutely agree. No, I think and- it's just one example of those expectations we all put on ourselves that we have to do Christmas cards. We have to do Christmas cookies. We have to do this. But if none of it brings you joy, then why are we doing it? Right. Yes, exactly. Do the things that bring you joy. Yeah. Just do those things and don't sweat or worry about the rest of it. Like, don't have the expectation set up on yourself because mm-hmm. really let's be honest if you're anxious about it if you feel stress about it if you feel that pressure that's going to come out you, there's right. no way around that you're going to show it you're going to put those feelings out and everyone else around you is going to be feeling that too so really allow yourself to do things that bring you joy and it's going to actually bring everybody else joy because you're calm you're happy you're enjoying it so regulating with everybody else <laughs> exactly exactly definitely so okay. let's get down to like specifics here kelly absolutely what are some things that you do to help yourself enjoy this time keep my scheduled workouts is like the number one priority because if i don't get my workout in, I know I'm going to be grumpy and I'm not going to be helpful to anybody else. I'm not going to enjoy it. So keeping my scheduled workouts is huge. I think Mm -hmm. practicing like breathing is another one. And then 
letting go of the things that aren't important, like figuring out what brings our whole family the most joy in, in doing that. How about you? Oh, I wholeheartedly agree with all of those things. Yes. Um, I mean, getting outside and taking a walk, like mm -hmm. my daily walks are very important. It's getting that fresh air, taking a moment to myself. It's either a podcast or music, but just like, this is my time right here, mm -hmm. right now. I'm moving my body. I'm getting the oxygen. I'm getting my blood flow, but it's just kind of that peaceful moment to me. But I also love doing it with my family. I can't lie. So on the weekends, <laughs> it's like all about walking with my family. And then I feel like that's sort of our time together. Um, but yeah, keeping those workouts, keeping my body moving. Um, and then I I love during this time of year because it's it's cold over here. <laughs> not going <laughs> to lie. But I love taking a moment in the afternoon. And um, whether I make one for myself or I go get one. It is matcha lattes or you know, a <laughs> cup of tea, but just taking a break and, and it is. sitting down. And I love looking at, you know, my Christmas decorations and the things around me. It just makes me kind of smile and makes me feel good inside. So I love that as well. Um, but yeah, setting those kind of boundaries, picking the things that are going to be most important to our family and saying, yes, we're definitely going to do those. Um, my family, we're all into, okay, we have to watch these particular shows to make it, you know, because that's our fun mm -hmm. time. So, you know, The Grinch, last night it was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Aww. And we just sit there and make some hot cocoa and we kind of snuggle on the couch together. And, and it's a great family memory to have. So that I think is important is just, inserting myself into enjoying with my family and friends. So yeah, I love that. Yeah, I think that part of what um, we need to just let go of the comparing and the expectations and just really focus on what makes memories. Because I read this thing the other day and it totally has stuck with me. It's like, your kids aren't gonna remember what present they got that specific year, but they are going to remember the feelings they felt on that Christmas morning or that Christmas season. And was it, if it was stressful, they're going to remember that. If it was peaceful and joyful, they're going to remember that too. So why are we putting the stress on? I don't want their memories to be stressful. I want their memories to be right. Happy. So right. I'm trying to remember that it's not so much about everything being perfect. It's the feeling mm -hmm. we create when we're together, that peaceful, joyful. And that feeling yeah. is going to come from us. So we have mm -hmm. to remember, like if we're enjoying it, then everybody else is going to be enjoying it. Like that, exactly. those are the <laughs> those yes. are the feelings that you're putting out there. Yes. The vibes. The vibes. The vibes that you're Good vibes out. only. <laughs> Good vibes only. <laughs> I you know, but I, I feel like you are exactly right. We were in this culture of definitely comparing ourselves with each other. And that's super hard because. I remember when my child was younger and in elementary school and just hearing the other parents talk about, you know, Christmas break is coming up. So what do you have planned? And well, we're going to be, you know, we're going skiing on this weekend and then we're going to do this on this weekend. And we've got these parties planned and blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, your eyes start to glaze over mm -hmm. and I could just feel my anxiety start to raise and like, oh my God, I'm you not doing stay home. <laughs> Right. And I just felt like I'm not doing enough and I'm not yeah. creating as many memories and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, just calm down. And Kelly's exactly right. Like your kids are not going to remember the exact present that was under the tree or the fact that you didn't go skiing on this particular weekend. It is the yeah. memories of enjoyment, the memories mm -hmm. of pure warmth and love and really what the season is all about, right? Absolutely. It's about creating memories of love and joy and happiness and family and friends and all the people that you have around you that you want to have around you. So right that is what's going to stick with them for sure. Absolutely. So I guess our challenge to everyone is to take some, one, take some time for yourself this holiday season, yes. right? Yes. You, you have permission to say no 
<laughs> yes, setting those boundaries. Setting those boundaries. Find something, find, do the things that bring you joy and remember to take care of yourself because it's not about being stressed out and you know so exhausted after Christmas. You still want to enjoy your family after Christmas too. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So go take that challenge, people. We want to see it happen. <laughs> yes. And to help, Yvette and I are doing a grounding class, kind of like a Pilates bar fusion uh, calming class on Saturday, the 17th. 17th. I'm like, I have to look at the calendar. I can't even keep the days straight. Saturday the 17th. So you can go to Matcha Bar to sign up. It's free. We would love to have as many people join us, invite your friends, and let's all take some time together to just kind of reset and ground and move our bodies and stretch and feel good. Definitely. Yes, please join us for sure. And remember, any information that you need, if you want to join us for a live conversation, um, always check our um, website, www.tinktopsandsweaters.com, and uh, sign up to be on our newsletter. It's chock full of really great information. <laughs> a new one every month. Yes. And as always, if you guys have any ideas of anything you want us to talk about, want us to bring up, um, we're all about movement and mental health and inspiring and empowering each other you know, to live happier, better lives. So anything, just email us um, at pinktopsandsweaters at gmail.com. And we would love to hear from you. Definitely. Thank so you, everyone. Great. Yes, thank you. And happy holidays to everybody. Take some time. Enjoy. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Take care.